Well, the ingredients in the Derby cocktail, always intoxicating, often inspiring. A real high for the winners, a big headache in defeat. And there have been uh, several of those for Manchester City down the years. Here's McClare in Sharpley. Ryan Giggs back on the left-hand side with a return of Hughes. Good control from Cantona. Challenged quickly by Ian Brightwell, a centre-back these days. And straight away, City getting into a widish position. Mark Wynn, who's enjoyed some considerable success past Peter Schmeichel. And he's fighting for it there, but Michael got his fist to it. Here's some of it. Beagle's cross. Vince getting to it. Hughes trying to Harris edge here. He's certainly done that. And we've seen some of the flow of the football. Now we're seeing some of the fight in the contest. And Keith Cooper stands back. And he's clearly made up his mind. The man's back to him. Well, no surprise, this is a derby, and the one thing Mark Hughes is, is a committed, committed player. They're getting a little bit of a tangle there, the legs are flying everywhere, people are flying in. One or two having a little nick. But he's quickly stamping his authority on the game, the referee. He did have a little nick there, Mark Hughes. Keith Cooper's having none of it. Well, the league table shows Manchester City much improved from how they were when they came here in April. That'll be a book in the some of it. I think you're going to find this, it's in two in the book. But Dennis Sermon's always bossed there, look, he's away. Nicky Summerby just hooks the leg round. Getting right back, remember he was voted man of the match at Philip Park on Sunday. Gates past Edgehill, or tried to get past Edgehill, but the flag was up. That's unlucky, Mark. That was a great ball from Dennis Irwin. Don't do it now, look how tight it is, it's very close, but the flag goes up. And that was very, very close, but they don't get any protection. And I think that Kinchelskis and Giggs, an awful lot in this game, may find themselves in that kind of situation, one against one. Now the ankle went there, you could see it more. And I'm just hoping that that's not a serious one. You could see it bend over, Mark, caught him. A really awkward that. It is the left ankle. ankle that's been troubling Ryan Giggs in recent weeks. That won't have done it any good, Mark, I can assure you. Quickly out from Hughes, back to McClure. That's what I mean, Mark, this situation, one against one. Well, flick off trying to give a bit of cover to Freeland, who uh, is able to block from Kanchelskis, but only clear. It's a great run from Walsh initially. Nice ball at the Quinn, but flick off too close. That's has great. And well held by Schmeichel. It needed to be held. Diggs is back off. Riggs trying to get the right kind of revenge. Cantona is unlocked. Well, 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 he comes back on you, wondering about his ankle, whether he's still feeling it. This is one of the best crosses he's played in a long time. Absolutely perfect for Cantona. We were disappointed, the Frenchman, that he didn't hit the target there. Test the goalkeeper early, test the man who's nervous in this atmosphere. He well, failed to hit the target. For City, perhaps, and the wing for the area. Some of he takes. Quick climbs. So plenty of that tonight. I think we'll find Gary Palliser will get himself around Niall Quinn as much as possible, especially in some time to do so. And they'll look for him. He is the major threat, Niall Quinn. But Gary Palliser does enough to stop a team. Periods of red dominance, especially last season. The double was done. The green key. Or the green for the moment. The better of his particular opponent. Turns keen again. And let's fly! Schmeichel stuck up a hand, whether it would have gone over in any case, for risk, and no. it's a corner. Beagle does this such a lot. When you think he's going to cross it, then he pulls it back. He strikes it very well. It is good over. To the feet of Hughes. Now can Justice. Prepared to really grasp the metal, and that bounced up. And claims that it was handballed by Bob. Nice cross. 
held up by Hughes, trying to tee up Giggs, looking for a square back. It did bend, but was always starting a little too wide. He's a little bit unlucky, Mark Hughes. He really would have been better off with a runner from the central midfield. McLaren, Manchester United on the move. And Chelskis. Hughes was going down as the ball arrived. Against Terry Fuller, it's perfect for the ball, and Mark Hughes just holds his ground. Yeah, he just lost his footing. Granted here at this early stage. Especially with Cantona around. Cantona scores! Oh, that's a magnificent goal, Martin. A really magnificent goal. It's a magnificent pull from Cantona. But having done that, the ball still has to be there. Now watch the way he pulls behind Brightwell. He loses him. But look at the way Kachelska still levels it. It wasn't an easy take. Almost skillful way he drags it. Almost back heels it there. Into his path. That's a great finish. Yeah. Goal. Well, a hundred years of these derbies in league football, and I would venture to say there haven't been many goals of that quality, and there have been some very good ones in that time. And here we have the Russian international and the French some of it. Run up by Lomas. Quinn is there. And he was trying to head it back across the face of goal with. Others coming in from midfield. John is here tonight. He got nine, so Cantona getting within range. It's oh, what a well, he seemed to have his shooting boots on at Villa Park. All the same. Nothing wrong with this. There's plenty of power and venom in this shot. All he wanted it to do was just some reason not to come and collect that. And Paul Walsh was free again. Oh, Keane put through by Cantona. Beaten out by Tracy. Keane's there again. Oh, what a chance, what a glorious chance from Roy Keane, not the first one, but the goalkeeper made a very, very good save, great run from Keane, and of course he's picked out beautifully, that's a good strike, but it's a good save, but just here I thought, go on, hit the target again, you must score. Well, at the moment Manchester United are bossing the game up, restricted service to Manchester City's wide men, and now they're asking plenty of questions of their own. That's Cantona, Cantos gets the compliment returned, Tuna. I think that's been on the cards. I think they've been bossing the game, they've been dominating possession. Look at this. Again, the stretched at the back of Manchester City. Takes his time, assesses the situation, and that's a lovely spot. But Terry Fuller gets unlucky, he gets a block, and it's a deflect past the goalkeeper. But again, Cantona sucked him in, sucked the full back in and only released it when he was ready. Simon Tracy going to his right to cover the original shot, suddenly finding the game to assist. And then back pedalling again, Kachelskis again, well saved Tracy. It's a real man goalkeeper. And this is a good save. Kachelskis showing us that he's quite at home to come in by muscle. This is unusual, no Dennis Sutherland round the ball. Uh, they said the, uh, the foreigners are the ones on songs, <laughs> and Kachowskis and Cantona were lining it up, and Cantona just walked away now. It's Kachowskis, oh, it swerved. He clung onto it very well, Simon Tracy. Oh, he didn't have. Plenty of power in this, and I think you see Tracy go to his right, suddenly it's away the other way. Oh. And Kachowskis in tandem again, straight away. Hughes! What a ball. What a ball, and he knows it. And he knows it, Mark Hughes. I know he was under pressure. Richard Edgehill was the full-back tucks in there. He's in a much better position there. But Hughes, I fancied strongly, Mark, because he's up, he gets a full head yeah, on. They're holding him up that time. But City, you feel, really need to dig deep into the... Thanks, Nick. He would like to feel that they've forced those errors. There's Cantona's flip, Kanchelskis is away again. And he gets the third, unlucky Tracy, the ball came back off the goalkeeper. And Andrew
Andrei Kanchelskis. Well, Manchester United are the club that spread their gospel all around the world, whereas City are pretty much the local side here. All around the world that are dominating this derby. And it's Cantona and Kanchelskis in tandem again. The long ball to Cantona. He showed great composure. He wasn't hurried from both sides, but he took a chance. He got half a yard on Terry Feeling, and that's all someone he... But look, he's battling there, he's battling with Falk. He keeps his composure, he gets a bit of luck. The season goal. just gets better and better. Easing off here in the derby. Cantona. This is Irwin. Brightwell gets his head to it. Long come to Walsh. Cross and applied some pressure. Here goes Kanchelskis again. Trying to take the shot early. Tracy, in truth, as well positioned. He's unlike, he's wanting, he was wanting an assist there, Peter Schmeichel. That's what they need here. Be great. Good lead. It is. It hasn't looked so likely for Manchester City. Since the opening 20 minutes. Here comes Jelskis, yet again. The player goes outside him. Hughes, very similar to the strike with which he started the season. Well, that's just kept going well. It's a lovely ball for Phelan, a real chance for City here. Oh, and still, Manchester United's goal stays intact at Old Trafford. Only because of Gary Pallister, Martin. This is what you can You watch this, it's a great run from Phelan. He picks out Walsh, but you watch Pallister. There's no way I'm conceding a goal here. And here is Kanchelskis on the hunt. Away, but within seconds, they've won it back again. Here's Hughes. He's on his feet quickly, and it's 4-0. Ah, that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Lost the ball. You thought they were going to be defending. They won. And Roy Keane's appreciation here, Mark, to deliver an early ball in behind them. With Hughes attacking it. Fogg does the job there, but look how quickly he's to his feet. First the ground. Well, that was the invitation that Mark Hughes needed to quite coolly lift the ball over the goalkeeper and into the far corner. Look at this, has a look, down it goes, up it goes, it's four. That one defeat, the only one in 18 league meetings by five goals to one. Well, it's a masterclass now. Would have taken some beating that goal. That was before. I think it hits a bobble here and sets up for Mark Hughes in, the, in his defence, Mark. It just gets off the ground and it hits his shin. And he's unlucky. Dennis Irwin, totally unselfish, could have taken a chance on himself. Could have if he does it set up just as he goes to it. There it is, off the shin. What a glorious move. United again. There's an offside decision that the referee's blown for, but still a real edge to the competition here, even if the <laughs> scoreline suggests that it's over. He's offside, Terry Field, and that's a decision Martin has been given, but look, there are three, shirt, three red shirts round there. Nowhere to go. Nowhere at all. And Peter Vigri took exception to that challenge from young Paul Scott. Who can blame them? It's 4 0 up. Well, there was curve and swerve and a bit of dip in the end. And it's it on. Four forward from Manchester United, the champions. Who put on a performance here to make. Be great. Oh, well stopped. It was dipping under the bar definitely that time. Schmeichel not letting his standards slip in the close. He's happy to get something to do as well, Martin. He hasn't been brought into action very often in the match, and this is a comfortable save for him. Is that that Peter Beagle is good enough to test a goalkeeper from there? Hughes and Kanchelskis hurrying into the centre. Hintz is there as well. Cantona! Tracy. Comes here and Brightwell faces him up. He doesn't shift it up very far. 
and he knows he's going to try and bend it. There, just tries to use his body, not touching the ball. Look at the movement, then he tries to bend. Cantona, who is in his own half, and clearly onside. Kanchelskis is there. Andre Kanchelskis to give this the perfect finale. Yes! on the cake and Andre Kanchelskis has three goals in the first Manchester United player to do that in this fixture since 1960 and it was such a lot to Eric Cantona Martin again for his awareness and Manchester City it's a short journey home but they'll be going home with their tails very much between their legs so how far they've got to go they've been given that tonight it's Crowd bang for number six. Now Andy Cole has spread out left look, taking Kernigan with him. Giggs is the player in the centre, being joined by Scholes, and Cole is away. This is Ince. It's in. United have possession, this is McClare, Cole, this is Ince again, outside him is Kanchelskis. It's in! It's gone straight through Andy Dibble at the near post. Outside him, McClare. Giggs making a strong run inside. There goes Ryan Giggs, danger here, and Cole's in there! And Andy Cole scores in his first Manchester derby. The old trap of pumping is complete for Manchester United. Yet another Derby Day victory for them, and what an emphatic one.